Yo, what up? Mr. Bannock here. This one's for all my ancestors that did indigenous cuisine. This one's for all the culinary warriors out there doing indigenous cuisine. What up, Rude hey, Gang? Mr. Bannock's on the block. Bannock's on lock. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Bannock's on lock. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Bannock's on the block. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Hey folks, Paul and the Charlie here from Mr. Bannock, Vancouver's first indigenous food truck. Uh, today we are doing some venison nachos. One of the fan favorites here at my house. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go in. <laughs> so I got my trusty uh, induction burner I got just for cooking demos. Uh, the, one of the biggest things, positive things, if you take this off the heat, it automatically stops. So it's very kid friendly and experienced or novice cookers would really benefit from it. I actually got this venison from one of my family members in the Fraser Valley. Uh, they went hunting and they hooked some up, so me and my team ground it. And the other good thing is, we just turn this on and it's already getting pretty warm. You can hear that sizzle. So we got a pound of venison. Uh, if you don't got venison, you can use ground beef, ground chicken. Uh, if you're a veggie or vegan, you can get some of the, the ground of that stuff as well. Got my awesome tool, my knife block here. Use my scissors and cut that open. You can use any kind of taco seasoning you got. I usually grab the blue menu because it's a little bit healthier with less sodium and stuff. Or you can make your own. Make sure you just get that, break all that meat up before it starts cooking. Okay, that's all going. And then while we do that, we got some yogurt, some nacho cheese mix, cilantro, uh, green onion, and jalapeno. This one's one of my favorite knives right here. So jalapenos. You just slice as thin as you can get it. It's good to go. Give this one a stir. One of the, the awesome things about wild game, venison and bison, moose or elk, is very, very lean and like zero additives. So I got some green onion here as well. <clears throat> I'm gonna slice it on a, a slight angle there. Again, you just slice it as thin as you can get it. And these are just garnishes, extra toppings. That's good. And then give this another stir. Man, I wish all you folks could smell this right now. 
these, you could even do this in uh, hard shell tacos or soft shell as well. <clears throat> we got some organic tomatoes here. So just a tip here, you just go in in the middle, cut around there, pretty easy. Just take the, the stem out, you can go down the carburetor, give this another stir. If, uh, if you're a fan of hot stuff, this is almost done. You can add some sriracha or some sambal in there. Uh, just kick it up another level, right? So that's good. We got the jalapenos, green onions, cut up some fresh tomatoes. Just give this a quick little sharpen. It's going to be heating. So doing nachos and like fun food like that, it's really, you cut it to your liking. Uh, I like mine a bit chunkier. So these ones are going to be a bit bigger, but you can do them as small as you like or as big as you like. Any of you guys fan of tomatoes? Yeah, maybe I'll cut up one more and throw it on there. Again, when you're you're cooking, if you're doing this at home, you can adjust it, add more things that you like, take out things you don't like. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of uh, olives, so I took those out of of these not these nachos that's all done so we'll put that to the side again we'll take the the center out Turn that down the carburetor I like tomatoes and jalapenos I should have grabbed an extra jalapeno but wasn't thinking <laughs> but we do have some extra hot sauce over there so I'll doctor up the salsa so that's ready we'll pick just some of the tips of these I love using all the fresh stuff. It has a really tangy, tangy smell to it. Yeah. All right, so we got fresh tomatoes, green onions, a little bit of jalapenos, cilantro, cheese. I need a spoon for the yogurt after. And I already got the pan for the nachos. Grab the trusty scissors. I was have to get after my family. I said these are for cooking only. It never works. 
They use it for multiple, multiple purposes. So you use one layer of tostitos or any kind of tortilla chips that you have. I like mine cheesy, so we'll put some extra cheese on the top. We'll do some tomatoes. Fresh medicine. Dang. Again, if you uh, have a lot of hunters out there that are family, get some medicine or moose or elk, uh, bison, anything you can get your hands on. <coughs> so we're doing a second layer. And it's just the same thing, repeat chips, cheese, veggies, and venison, or bison. Some more tomatoes. This one's uh, perfect for any day, especially any kind of game day. Hockey season's here or basketball. Make it for that special someone in your life. <laughs> It'll be, they'll love you forever. So this is the last layer pretty much. The end of the bag. I don't want the crumbs in there, so we'll just put that to the side. We'll put a little bit more cheese. Some more tomatoes. Good onions. And because it's the the very last layer, I'm gonna do double cheese and double toppings on top. Extra cheesy. <laughs> we'll just use up all the stuff that we got. And we'll cheese. I'll take the crumbs and this stuff. <laughs> Too many news. Onions. So well, there we go. That's mostly all of it. We'll put the cilantro on last. So it doesn't burn or char. It's all hot and ready to go. So I'm like, put the timer on. We'll check it in 30 seconds or a minute. Sorry. Put that in the bag. Thank you. 
longer one. So some salsa. I forgot to grab uh, some stuff in the fridge. Said we're gonna doctor up the salsa. Another, another 30 seconds or 45. Gives me just enough time to do this. So the sambal for some spice. I love using that. So I did about a teaspoon. Flip it over. Same about a teaspoon of garlic. And a splash of lime juice. You can actually even throw a couple of these in there. Some garlic and some tang. Give it a little taste. Spice is good. Last, my last birthday, my sister got me these awesome indigenous gloves here. Oven mitts. Oh yeah. Try that on top. Cheese is all melted. Turn this oven off. And then you finish it with Fresh herbs. There's that one. Grab some of that. Yogurt dip. This is just plain yogurt. You can use that or sour cream. And then doctor it up with some lemon juice. spice or we got everything in these mason jars they're all labeled and I got pepper and pickling salt a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper Nachos. That bad boy. That one. I got some plates over here. Just do a quick little wave down. Hey, Mr. Bannock's on the block. Bannock's on lock. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Bannock's on the block. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Trusty Gerberator. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Yeah. Mr. Bannock's on the block. Bannock's on the block. Mr. Bannock's on the block. There you go. Perfect for that special someone in any game day. 
Well deemed nachos. <coughs> Grab a couple of meats. I could add some homes over here. We'll do salsa here. Sour cream. It's not hot no more, so that's good. Let's see if I can cut that into two. Yeah. Dang, that smells so good. <laughs> There's one. And there's also enough for seconds. <laughs> there we go. Time to dig in. Yeah. Mr. Bannix on the block, Bannix on the block. Mr. Bannix on the block, Bannix on the block. Mr. Bannix on the block, I got the Bannix. I'm locked down. Mr. Bannix on the block, I got the Bannix. I'm locked down. Yo, mama. Yo. Come on. Yo, here. what's going on? Did you guys order man? yet? Yeah, we hear from them so in Yeah, Hungry with the munchies for something crunchy, but soft inside. I don't want dumplings, bread, or biscuits. Better get this up out of my sight. I use a whole packet of hot sauce on every bite. Second generation chef, the recipe real deadly, right? Where you're from, never been done. Smoked salmon on a bannock bun. Slice in some wild bites, and my daughter tried it and said it's yum. Get it? Well, it's hot when that truck is on the block. Pull up to the spot, open up shop. Get it? Well, it's hot. You can smell it from the car lot. <laughs> yeah, Me too. I don't know. Maybe a salmon burger? Yeah, that looks good. Indian taco. Wait, wow. decide or go to the back of the line. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs>